off yet, it's time for our annual trip to Unspeakable's house. Let's go! Every year we road trip this limo all the way to Unspeakable's house and last time it took 24 hours to go from Los Angeles, California to Houston, Texas. This time we're going from North Carolina all the way to Key West, Florida where he has a private island house waiting for us. We need to surprise Nathan with the Team Roar limo and right now it only says rare and ridiculous so let's go get this thing vinyl wrapped. Let's go! Woo! Team Roar limo, this thing is gonna look amazing! Woo! It's time to call Unspeakable. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a massive YouTube creator with over 10 million subscribers on multiple channels. He is incredibly popular, so let's give him a call right now. I'm so nervous, guys. I haven't hung out with him for about one year. It's gonna be exciting. Yo. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Yo, I heard you got a new um, a new island house I need to come road trip to and check out. That's me, you do. Wait, you say road trip? Well, we're in a road trip to limo, pulling the jet boat, and it's gonna be this annual tradition that we do. A road trip to your house. <laughs> Bringing the jet boat, let's go. Yep, and we're getting a new wrap on the limo to surprise you. It's gonna be awesome. Crazy. Oh, dude, I'm so hyped. That's gonna be so much fun. Well, I'll see you in 50 hours. All right. 50. We're gonna make a few stops along the way. All right, bring me some chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? All right, order up. Peace. All right, guys, well, now it is time to start the road trip, and we'll see Nathan in 50 hours with chicken nuggets. Woo! No way, the limo's back. I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be amazing. Here it is, grand reveal. Oh, it's so sick. No way. Yes. Oh, it's blue on this side. No way. This is amazing! Oh my gosh, and just in the nick of time because we are actually running late. But we gotta look at it. Team Rar Monster, awesome on the hood. This side is pink. Team Rar down the side. All of the brand. We've got the Team Rar money guns. Rare and ridiculous. Lamborghini. Oh, it's so sick! Riding in style this time, dude. Let's yeah, go. we are. Nathan is going to absolutely love this, but we seriously gotta get going because we are running late. Time to load up the limo. Guys, we are running late. Is got their stuff. Liz, what are you doing? I'm still packing. Just give me like a few more minutes. We don't have a few minutes. We're over an hour late and we got to get in this limo or we're never going to make it to Nathan's house. Liz, we seriously have to go. Come on, pack okay, your stuff. Pack the space in your luggage. What are those? I need They're so shoes. small. Wait, I have a spot for them. I can put it inside my shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how small Liz's foot is, guys. It's so little. Can someone please tell me why girls always have to bring so much stuff? Liz, you have like bags for days. What is all of this? Let's go. <laughs> Come on. My hair stuff and then two fishing rods. We don't have time. We're never going to make it to Unspeakable's oh, Island House if we don't leave now. Let's go. All right, let's go to Unspeakable's House. Everyone in the limo. Go, 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 go. Woo. Here we go. This is going to be amazing. Let's hit the road. Woo. And our first stop is the brown garage because we're bringing the boat. Yes. Believe it or not, the limo does have a trailer hitch and can tow our Team Rar jet boat. This thing is going to be so much fun at Unspeakable's new island house. Woo! Team Rar limo, let's go! I hope that boat stays on. I hope we make it. Unspeakable, we're coming! Team Rar limo! So this is going to be our life for the next few hours. That's what it's going to take for us to get from North Carolina all the way down to the southernmost point of all of the United States, Key West, Florida. Here's the setup. It's not bad. We got Andrew. We got a bunch of snacks over down this way. We got Liz and a little girl's lounge. And driving the first leg of the trip, we got Duct Tape Man. Yeah, Duct Man. <laughs> and if we get really bored, we got some N64 and a secret TV that flips up out of here, which is super cool. Secret TV. Yeah, it's so cool. to pull over just to make sure everything is looking okay with the boat. None of the straps are coming off. Well, one strap did come off, but we don't need it. We just tossed it in. We want to make sure everything's banjo tight. Boat looks good. Back in the limo we go. Woo. South Carolina. Woo. We officially made it to South Carolina, Liz. Yay. Are we almost there? 
Uh, not quite. We are pulling into our first stop at Bucky's. Bucky! We literally went to Bucky's the last time we went to Unspeakables. So. That's right, we're going this time and we're going to be doing the Bucky's challenge. And just like that, we ran into our first teamer fan of the trip. This kid is awesome. And later on, we found him post this photo on Instagram and it was so amazing. Just met Carter Sherrod. Told mom, stop driving the truck and let me out because that's one of my favorite YouTubers, Team Rar. Carter Sherrod, thank you for being so approachable and for this moment that I will never forget. Bucky's was sleeping, but I wasn't. Keep doing your thing, Carter. This is our first stop and we're doing the Bucky's challenge which means we only have just a few minutes to go in and shop while this is fun with gas because as soon as the limo is full, it's going to be leaving. So we better get moving. Let's go! Oh, we, yeah, we got to go to Bucky's. Come on. This thing isn't that big, so they better hurry up. Liz, what are you going to get? Is that a tent? Yes. Well, we better hurry up. We don't have that much time. Oh, wait, we got to get some supplies. Perfect. My favorite yeah. color blue. Look at it. It's got the little Bucky's guy on it. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. This place is popping. Oh my god. Dad, can you get a matching shirt? Quick, let's go, go, go. Whatever, get them faster. Just throw them in. Look at her go. You gotta get a snack. Three, Three. Oh yeah, let's go. Liz, only get the important stuff. <laughs> this is important. Okay, get it quick. Come on, let's go. Look at these guys. Oh my god, Liz, come on, we gotta go. Oh my gosh, Liz, just the important stuff. Liz, only the important stuff. This is pink. No, it can't. Why? We don't have room. We don't. We don't even have cup holders like that. Whoa. Like it's you. That's not me, <laughs> Liz. Stop. The limo's probably almost full of gas. It's all done. I got all my stuff. It's time to go. All right, everybody's in. Time yeah, to start moving. Yeah, we're ready to go. Yeah. Let's roll. The line for the bathroom was so long. Wait up, guys. I feel like right, we're missing we someone. What? Nah. I mean, it does feel a little bit lighter. Andrew, wait up. Stop the car. Let me get in. Unlock the door. Yeah, we gotta keep moving. Why? I can't stop the car, Carter. It's the Bucky's challenge. What do you mean? The bathroom line was too long. Just let me hop in. That, Andrew. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm hopping on the boat. Whew, well, at least I made it onto the boat, but I don't want to ride back here for the next 40 hours. It's going to be way too windy. I got to get back into the limo somehow. Oh, I'm coming. Get in, get in my hand. Get in. Ah, I made it, Bucky's Challenge. Let's go. We are about to go across this huge bridge and we are almost at our first stop. Savannah Harbor. Savannah Harbor, all right. That means we're in Georgia. Yeah. That was so fast. <laughs> it's because we fell asleep. We okay. are officially in the beautiful state of Georgia, guys. Major shout out to all you guys that live here. This is going to be our first official stop where we're actually spending the whole night. And we are going across this crazy bridge right now and the sky looks amazing. We are pulling up to our first hotel. Woo! And I think we're just trying to figure out where we can park the massive boat and limo combo. 30 minutes later, we actually found an amazing spot to park. And we're only taking up one, two, three, four, five, six spots. Then we have to pay for all those spots, you know. We have to pay per spot. So right? we have to pay for six spots per hour. So that's six tickets. We have to put a sticker on each yes, side of the, the vehicle to take up and pay for each of these six spots. Yeah, it only makes sense. And we're taking up what six people and six cars would do. So I think it's well, fair. technically we can fit another limo with a boat. Oh yeah, so probably half. And we are off on stop number one. We had to park pretty far away. So now we have to walk all of our stuff to the hotel, which is only a block or so away. So we're gonna be all right. What's wrong? What? Why are you so grumpy? I'm so hungry, I'm gonna die. Does anybody else get so grumpy when they get hungry? Comment down below if you're just like Liz, who gets grumpy when they get hungry. I'm hungry! Oh my gosh, now that's how you do a suitcase. Let's go, Andrew! We get this store and this store. Yes! Where? It's right there. Oh, right there. Who is it? She's so grumpy. It's a monster. It's Grumpy Monster. <laughs> Woo! Party, penthouse, sweet baby. 
Little did we know, Savannah, Georgia is actually the most haunted city in America. So I really hope that we do not get haunted tonight. So this is downtown Savannah, some crazy cars. And Liz and I are gonna go check out the river. Wow, let's check it out. This is so cool. That's the bridge we drove across. No way. Today we're gonna be spending the next 24 hours in the world's smallest Jeep and driving it over 100 miles across the beautiful state of North Carolina. The goal is to drive it from the T-Bar house here all the way to the beach because how amazing would it be to drive this mini Jeep on the sand? This mini road trip is gonna be crazy, so watch this video all the way to the end. This is a regular brand new Jeep and over here is the world's smallest gas power Jeep and this thing is tiny. It's got two seats, it's two wheel drive with lock diffs on the back, it's got a three speed transmission and shifter, a gasoline engine, electric start, even has working headlights and turn signals, making this thing basically like a real Jeep, just super small. Believe it or not, this thing actually gets 100 miles to gallon in a one gallon gas tank. So give or take, I should be able to make it if I'm good on gas mileage all the way 100 miles to the beach, which is gonna be amazing. And I got this thing on Amazon Prime. Let's get started with this road trip and let me show you how cool this mini Jeep is. Check it out, electric start, when it starts right up. Woo! And to prove this thing is actually a Jeep, let me show you what it can do off-road. That little Jeep is gonna do what normal Jeeps can do. It has to be able to pass all these tests. Test number one, we're gonna see if it can go in the water. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's see if Carter can keep up. Oh boy, this is scary. And look, look, here's the water. Oh my gosh, we are in it. Well, I don't know, Andrew. I don't even know if your Jeep's gonna be able to do it. <laughs> We're tilting a little bit. This is scary. Andrew's trying to show me that this is a test that Jeeps can do. I don't even think his full-size Jeep can do it. This is a brand new Jeep, and I do not want to roll it over into the water. Oh, you're starting to sink. Oh my gosh. Oh, your tires are slipping. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna, oh, you're sinking. Get out of there. I might need some help. Uh-oh. We're tilted pretty far. Oh my gosh, guys, Jeep test number one is off to a uh, little bit of a scary start. <laughs> we gotta save passengers out of the Jeep because look, guys, we're about to sink it in the lake. This is brand new, Andrew, you can't lose it. I can't roll it now, this thing is brand new. And he just got it detailed like 45 minutes ago. Here we go, rescue squad. We got a big Ford truck to rescue the little Jeep. Wow, I really dug out the mud here. My feet are sinking deep. Matt, we need a rescue, the Jeep got stuck. I see that. The mini Jeep's gonna be able to do is just fine. I can't wait to show you guys. Andrew, I think you should trade it in for a mini. I can't believe this. It's like a $70,000 electric Jeep. It's really cool. Couldn't even do a little bit of squishy mud. We got the Ford truck with the strap trying to get Andrew out. Let's get a little tension on it first. Make sure that hook is hooked. Oh my gosh. You have no idea, dude. My heart has been stopped this entire time. I mean, it's a brand new car. I would be freaking out too if it just rolled over into the water. Wow, it was all the way up to the black trim. Just about to go inside your doors. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show a real Jeep how it's done because this little Jeep can go anywhere. Let's go! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to do even close to what this thing did. He's definitely going swimming. Guys, comment down below if you think the little Jeep can go nowhere a real Jeep can. Here we go, into the water. I don't wanna go too deep. This is where Andrew got stuck. Yeah! No way! Oh. Oh! 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 Come on, little Jeep! Yeah! <laughs> That thing's only two wheel drive. I can't believe that. My backpack full of water. No, not the Team Rar merch. Woo, but we still made it. Yes, success. Little Jeeps are clearly better than big Jeeps. Woo, on to test number two. Test two is the hill climb with a twist. Andrew with the normal size Jeep, you're up first. I'm a little nervous after that last test, but let's give it a shot. All right, Jeep Rubicon, let's go. Oh boy. Woo. Oh, that's a steep angle already. This is really the steep. The water is pouring out. Wait, there's water in it? Uh, a little bit of water. Okay, this is the hard part because it's got a hill climb with a bump. Oh, oh. did you hit your frame? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, and I think that is a successful pass, but he did uh, drip some water and hit his frame. So let's see if I can do any better. We actually made that pretty easy. That was surprising. Actually, I guess not. That's what Jeeps are supposed to be doing. Time for mini Jeep. <laughs> Let's go! Woohoo! Yes! Come on, baby! 
Oh. Yeah. Even easier. Yes. All right, Carter, you might have done a little bit better than me on those last two challenges, but this next challenge, there's no way that little people win it. This next test is gonna get us straight into the road trip because we are going out to the street to see what is faster, the real Jeep or the mini Jeep. Woohoo! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to keep up with the pace of this big Jeep. Andrew, you're up first for this test, you ready? I think so. All right, send it. Here we go, getting on the road. And he's off and going. 30 miles an hour. that speed. I gotta say guys, I'm actually a little bit nervous about this test because this Jeep is really small. It does have blinkers and everything, but I think if anything, his Jeep is definitely faster. Only one way to find out. So far, so good! Yeah! I think that might be a police officer. Oh no! here and wait for Carter. We made it pretty far. It'll probably take his little Jeep a little while to catch up. Holy stuff, you're gone. Come on. Jeez, all right, so Carter's taking forever. I mean, this is supposed to be a high-speed test. Where is he? He should be here by now. Gosh, what did I just do? My heart is racing right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, I'm Andrew. I'm just gonna take a nap real quick. Yo, Andrew. Where are you, dude? I've been waiting forever. Uh, did you see that cop on the side of the road? Uh, Undercover cop, he turned his lights on, he chased me. I made a run for it, I turned off, and I'm in the middle of the woods. What should I do? Book it through the back way back to our house. <sighs> okay, all right. I'll circle back and meet you there. All right, sounds good. Good luck. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I don't really know where I am right now, but there's no way I'm going back on the road with this thing because I'm sure the cop is out there looking for me. Oh. Is that the cop car? Definitely do not try this at home. I think it's coming after me. Am I getting pulled over right now? I made it out, guys. We are back at the Team Roar house. This is great. Scary guys, I've never been pulled over before. Oh jeez. Here, quick, put put the camera down. Don't don't let the cops see. Son, do you know why I pulled you over? <gasps> Sir, no, I have no idea. I'm looking for a mini little Jeep. Have you seen one? Well, I mean, that wouldn't be me. This is a big Jeep. I'm looking for one a little bit smaller than this one. I think it's a tan color. Mm. You saw one or no? Uh, I can't say I've seen any Jeeps around here. No. Okay, okay. Yeah. I've yeah. got a job to do. All right, good luck, All officer. Right, good, good luck looking for that little Jeep. Oh, Andrew's calling me. Andrew, what's up? Cops are at the house. I repeat, the cops are at the house. You gotta get away from the property. And they said they're specifically looking for a tan mini Jeep. What, what should I do? I'm at the house. Meet me down by the garages. I have a plan. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right. Andrew said to come around this side. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally running from the cops. Ooh, feels like I'm playing an actual game of Grand Theft Auto, and now I'm in the spray paint booth. So I don't know what to do now, Andrew. I play a lot of GTA. With you running from the cops, you're probably at about three stars. Three stars? Andrew, this isn't a video game. This is real life. There's cops out there looking for me. If you just spray paint a different color, how about blue? <laughs> It might take your stars down. You go down to zero stars. It always works. Trust me, I've done it. Putting video game myths to the test? Let's do it. Wow, not bad. I think it looks great. It looks sick. And now it's time for the grand reveal. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. It looks awesome. Where are we going? Come on, we gotta test out the GTA myth. Dude, you know how much I weigh? I'm almost like 200 pounds. Don't underestimate mini Jeep. Let's okay. go. <laughs> This is it guys, we are testing a video game myth and that is if you paint your car, you will lose all of your wanted stars. We originally had three, let's see if we're back to zero. Here we go! Woo! 
Team Rar just launched brand new shirts, guys. These are amazing. The one I'm wearing right here is the green, and Andrew has got the blue and old. We also have them in pink and orange. Go to teamrar.com at the end of this video and go get one for yourself before they sell out. Did you hear that? I don't know. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, the intake fell off. What? That's not good. The mini Jeep is quite literally falling apart. We've probably driven about 20 miles since the start of the today's video. The goal is 100 miles, but we're also nowhere near the beach. <laughs> this is not looking good. I think we're about to make a pit stop. I know who to call. That's where Carter calls. Hello? Hey, Liz. Hey, Carter. We were trying to go all the way to the beach. The cops are following us, but we're going to have to see if we can get it started. If we can, we're probably going to come to your house for a pit stop. Wait, wait. what? Okay, great. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> We gotta see if it'll get started, Andrew. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Liz! You okay? Yeah. Oh you hurt? I'm You're good. good. What happened to your hand? It's a long story, but we went out on the road. I passed a cop. I got pulled over, but I didn't stop. I made a run for it and I outran the cops. So I'm a fugitive that they pulled Andrew over. Painted this so we camouflage and we made it here, but then Carter, it broke down. Yeah, we're trying to make it to the beach, but it's not looking good. Carter, you can't make it to the beach. It's getting dark. I know. I'm afraid, honestly, at this point that we're probably like almost out of gas and this thing is not looking good. <laughs> it smells smoky in there. It doesn't smell right. I don't have a beach for you to off road on, but why don't you just test it out in these big piles of dirt I have? Plus, you can do whatever you want because all of this is my land, so no cops. That sounds good. Let's ride this thing until it breaks. <laughs> you ready, Liz? Crazy! I feel like we're on planet Mars. Oh. Oh. I don't know if we can make it. Is this thing four wheel drive? No. Oh, oh it's so crazy. steep. Oh. oh. There's no way. All right, here we go. Oh. Whoa. 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 Yes. Hey, go on. The next test, we gotta climb Mount Lizzie. I bought the world's smallest gas-powered mini jeep and we set out to drive it 100 miles all the way to the beach But we quickly realized as soon as we turned onto the road that they're not street legal oh, no. Given that the cops showed up and we didn't actually make it to the beach It was a huge fail, but today we're gonna be trying it again But this time we're going smaller with the world's smallest gas-powered dirt bike Yeah. Aren't the cops just gonna pull you over with that thing too? Well, the thing is, this is actually 49cc, and in the state of North Carolina, it might classify as a moped, but it is a lot smaller. I mean, look at it, this is the whole thing. It's just like in here. This is the wheel, no way. Yeah, we're gonna be able to do a better off-roading on this for sure. Yes. Whoa, Carter, why is everything pink? That is because I'm actually not at my house. I'm not at the team or our house. I'm actually at Liz's house right now. And I know you guys saw the video that we broke up. You're probably curious exactly what's going on. Well, we did break up. That's 100% true. But Liz isn't home right now. She bought this dirt bike. She doesn't really know that I'm building this and I'm gonna road trip it for 24 hours. We're not dating anymore. So, you know, I don't care if she gets mad. So we just gotta build this and get out of here pretty soon because she is gonna get back. I definitely don't want Liz to know what we're doing. Yo, Ashley, do you know when Liz is gonna get back? She's gonna get back in like an hour. Okay, thanks. We have one hour to build this thing and get out of here before Liz gets back. So let's get going. And luckily, they gave us a little toolkit. And we are done. Look at this thing, guys. Coming, so we gotta get going. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. 24 hours. 
starts now. Go, 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 go. Hope we can get off the property before Liz gets here. Right, we gotta roll. Off-road, it seems to do okay. It does great on the grass. I'm riding down Liz's driveway right now, which is gonna soon be a lake. It's pretty wild, but I feel like I'm on a different planet. We're now on the pavement, but we're not on public road yet. Alright guys, this is the moment of truth. This is the public road. Last time, as soon as I turned onto the road with the mini jeep, the cops were right there and they came chasing after me. Hit that subscribe button because I'm going on the public road. And I hope the cops don't get me. Uh. Woohoo! blow my team bar hat off. First pit stop. What's the matter? My team bar hat almost got blown off. I don't want to lose it. Oh my gosh. It's like my favorite hat ever, guys. Available on teamrar.com. You can get hats like this, other amazing stuff, and support our rare and ridiculous video ideas, just like this one. Let's go. Woo! Much better. I wonder how fast I'm going. All right, phase one complete, phase two, we're going on to a, uh, a highway. The speed limit is a lot higher here, the cars. Woo! The cars are going fast. There's a lot of traffic coming. So we better go. Uh-oh. We gotta go fast on this one. <laughs> There's big trucks going by. Right now we're going 20 miles per hour. Oh, I'm so small out here. Those trucks were so big that I'm on the tiniest vehicle ever. Ah, that car just passed me. Oh, we almost made it. Woo. Wow, we had some cars held up. <laughs> we were holding up traffic. 10 miles down and my hands are vibrating. Ah. This thing is not as comfortable as the mini view. We made it! Back to the Team Rar house. Woohoo! Uh, that was insane. We made it back to the Team Rar house and uh, Matt's coming to look at it. Pretty cool. And he asked where I got it. I told him I stole it from Liz's house and we successfully did not get caught. Of course it's Liz's, I mean it's pink. As with every vehicle I get my hands on, we gotta do an off-road test. So we're taking it. To the backyard. Oh, we got some roots. It actually did great on that. And we're going up there. It did great. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. I gotta get over this really steep bump right here. Oh. Oh. Might have to try a little water test. I can't believe how well that just worked. I didn't even get my shoes wet. Oh no. Oh! Oh no, guys, I think I might be out of gas. Oh. I'm out of gas. Oh no. And we're back, baby. Time to see how fast this thing can go. Oh, we're ripping. From the field to the trails. Oh, oh! I'm actually busting down these trails right now. Oh. No way! I was busting down these trails way too hard. The camera mount literally broke, guys. I was busting a little too hard. Okay, the camera mount broke, but I'm just gonna try to hold it and ride uh, one-handed. Oh. Okay, it's definitely muddy down this way. Oh! Oh no! Oh! That was a booby trap! Oh my god! I got 
got completely wrecked. Completely soaked. That was like knee deep. Andrew, is that, did you set that booby trap up? Let's go, I gotcha. Did you know I was gonna hit that? I'm out of here, I'm soaking wet. Oh, that was horrible. Andrew, what are you even doing right now? So we're gonna try the bungee jump test. Just do it. The bungee jump on the little mini dirt bike? Oh my gosh, Andrew, what are you even doing? What is this? Andrew, what does this have to do with the mini dirt bike? Just wait and see, let me show you. So this rope is attached to the ceiling, coming down. This is what you had in mind? I'm just gunning. <laughs> Wait, look at the tire mark. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. It is so dark. I've been on this little thing for hours, and I don't even think Liz has any idea that it's missing yet. But so far, so good. Woohoo! Let's go, baby! Oh! No. I think it just broke. No! It's gonna blow! No! Yeah, it's a little hot, honestly. All right, guys, well, the chain fell off. It's no longer drivable. It's getting super dark. I can't see anything anyways. So I'm gonna crash for the night, wake up in the morning, keep driving this thing, and finish the 24 hours. Woo! Ah, good morning, guys. We are on to day number two, driving this thing for 24 hours. I have about 12 hours left. It's time to wake up and get going. The first thing I like to do every morning is go get breakfast. Obviously, I can't drive a regular car because I'm driving this for 24 hours. So let's drive this into town and get some food. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Off to town we go! Okay, I didn't make it too far. Bailey just rolled up. He flew in. Oh, let's go get some food! Woo! I, I don't really think Hart is about to go get food, but if he pulls this off, I will very impressed. Got my goggles on. The road is clear, let's go. Yo, Courtney's like not for trying this challenge. I literally just got here, just flew into town. He's already doing something crazy. This is nuts. Like the last time we did this with the mini Jeep, the cop showed up immediately and tried to arrest us. So. Yeah, this is not looking good for Carter. All right, we're turning onto another big road. Oh, and there's a semi truck. Oh! This is sketchy. There's a lot of traffic out there and it's moving fast. We just gotta ride this highway for just a little bit though. Yeah, I don't know if Carter's actually gonna be able to make this or not. I'm on the highway! We're driving the world's fast motorcycle on the highway! How fast is he going? 20. Yo, Carter's going way too slow for this road. All right, so we have made it to the town. Somehow Carter's still driving. I, I think she's very concerned. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Carter almost just ran a red light, bro. I think we almost did. <laughs> I could literally fit like a hundred of these in this parking spot. Got my coffee, got my sandwich. The next stop, I gotta eat this, and then I'm gonna run some errands. Yeah, wait, I got Liz is calling what me. What do you mean, huh? Liz calling you? Carter, um, something weird happened. What? My, like, little pink dirt bike, it's, like, missing. Your little pink dirt bike? What What do you mean? It's what is that? It's like a little kid's dirt bike, and it, it was in a box and everything, but someone, like, ripped it out of the box. You think someone stole it? Uh, it'll turn up, I think. I'm gonna call the cops. You're gonna call the police? I think I'm just gonna call and file the police report just to, like, go through the motions of all that. Uh, I don't know if you should really be uh, doing that. I, I don't... 
you wait? She's what? literally calling the cops. We're gonna have to cut our plan short. We need to get back home because if she's calling the cops, every cop in town is gonna keep an eye out for a little pink dirt bike. This is the only little pink dirt bike that exists in this town, probably. So we just need to get out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Yo, 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 yo. No. Yo, Carter, we yeah. slice off. Scott, screw your sandwich, you gotta go. Oh shoot, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> This has happened twice now. Obviously, Carter should not be doing this. So we made it back to Carter's. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Safe and sound. No cops. Oh, 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 oh. What the? Yo, I think Carter's out of gas. Yo, Why Carter. What's wrong? Yo, the cops are here. What? They're literally here. Oh, no. I gotta end the video here. I didn't think the cops are actually gonna come. This is the world's biggest remote control airplane. <laughs> It has a gasoline engine, it's absolutely massive, and it actually flies. I love tiny vehicles like when I drove a mini Jeep 100 miles and got pulled over by the car. Oh, wow. Then I got the world's tiniest jet boat that actually drives in water and you can even wakeboard behind it. I've also driven the world's tiniest motorcycles and cars. These tiny vehicles can drive on land or water, but I've never driven a tiny vehicle up in the sky. The challenge is to fly a tiny airplane from here at the Timur house to my brother's house, 500 miles through the clouds. Let's go. There's just absolutely no more room in any suitcase, Carter. <laughs> well, we are traveling on a tiny airplane, so there's really not much room for storage. I'm actually worried that this is gonna be too much and it oh, won't no. even fit and we're gonna be too heavy. I'll sacrifice a bottle of water. <laughs> all right, close it up, Andrew, we're ready to go. Looks pretty heavy in there. I don't know if it'll all fit on the plane. <laughs> We're off on our way to a tiny airport that has tiny airplanes. Gotta say bye to the Team Rar house. It looks so pretty. I don't want to leave. But this trip is gonna be so fun. I can't wait. You ready, Mom? Oh, yeah, I'm hydrating. <laughs> there it is, guys. The airport. Just so you guys know, this is like a tiny miniature airport. I'm excited to see it, but it's gonna be basically the smallest airport that I've ever been on. All right, we're pulling up to the terminal, and this is this is it. Just a little shack. Whoa. <laughs> it's so small. That might be our plane right there, guys. I don't know. Mom, you're, this isn't your channel. I know. I'm vlogging. You don't need to vlog. I gotta make my debut. You're on my channel. Let's go. Wow, that's a tiny airplane right there. That one is super small. This is the restricted area, so we're waiting for the pilot right now, and this is as far as we can go. So I'm just taking a look at this little airplane, guys, because this thing is tiny. It literally reminds me of the mini Jeep, but for like an airplane. Like, it's so tiny. Look at how small it is. Andrew, mom, this is a restricted area. You can't go past it. You can't cross that line. It says restricted area. Yeah, but we're, we're special. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. We're going, we're walking out to the airplane. We're gonna go say hi to the pilot and see which airplane we're actually flying. Oh my gosh, guys, this is it right here. This is gonna be the airplane that we're flying today, guys. We're going almost 500 miles in this tiny thing. And look how small it is. I can literally edge to edge, like give this thing a hug. It's so tiny. I don't think you wanna hug it on the propeller. I didn't touch it. <laughs> I want to make sure this is safe and we're going to be good today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Harry. I'm Andrew. Hey, how's it going? Andrew? Nice to meet you. I'm not going. So you're the pilot? Hi. Yeah. How many uh, seats does this plane have? Two in the front and then three in the back. And then it's about a two hour flight, you think? Uh, over 30 minutes. Hey, Grace. What you doing? There's the plane. Oh my goodness, that's so small. It's so small. You're going to do two hours on that plane? Hour and a half. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a quick flight. All right, I gotta go, bye. So this is the storage. Yep. It's like a, driving a little SUV, but up in the sky. We're gonna be hopping on the airplane. This is so exciting. All right, mom. Left foot. There you go. All right, mom, let's go. <laughs> wow, guys, check it out. This is what the inside looks like. Two seats in the back, two up here. One is the pilot's. Whoa, guys, this is so cool. Whoa. This is crazy. Look at what we're seeing. That's the propeller. We got screens. I don't even know how an airplane works, guys, but look at all these buttons wow. and stuff. Are you cozy back there? Really nice. yeah. It's comfortable. Oh, yeah. Can't believe I'm really flying to my brother's house in a tiny little airplane, like squeezed in here. Here comes the pilot right now. Uh oh. Whoa, we are starting up, guys. This is awesome. Okay, I'm about to fly. Okay, good luck. It's gonna be like an hour and a half flight. It's gonna be really quick. That's awesome. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for you. 
He says our airplane goes really fast, so it's gonna go by really quick. It's a little white plane. All right, we're moving. We gotta go. Bye. All right. Good luck. All right, he's moving. Uh oh. no bigger than a small car. Surprisingly, it's really comfortable. I'm sitting up here in the front and it's amazing that I can look left to right and see such incredible views. Ooh. Here's my mom in the back seat, just loving life. This is such an incredible experience. You're flying so smooth, but we're actually going 200 miles an hour. That's crazy to think because the top speed of my Lamborghini Aventador is about 200 miles an hour. 30 minutes into the flight and we are seeing Richmond off in the distance. Shout out to all you guys that live in Richmond, Virginia. Oh my gosh, the pilot just pointed out to the left that we can see the mountains. That is amazing, guys. Off to the left, we can see the mountains. And over this way, we can see a bunch of water. The pilot just told me as he pulled down this panel that there is an emergency parachute for this airplane. So if anything were to go wrong, you pull this plunger, a rocket shoots out of the back of the airplane, deploying a parachute, and it'll allow us to float safely to the ground in case of emergency. Check it out over there off in the distance. There's like a nuclear power plant. That is so cool. We're starting to get close, guys. Out in the distance, you can actually see the city of Philly. Shout out to all of you guys that live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Comment down below if you guys think that I flew over your house on this trip to Steven's house. We're getting super close and Steven's house is right next to the airport. So as we come in for a landing, we need to look out the window and see if we can spot his house. Okay, well Carter's saying we can go right on the runway. We gotta hurry, Grace. We gotta get the cars out. We gotta get to the airport. Let's go to the airport. We gotta Woo! go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We're getting super close. I'm looking around. I'm trying to see if we can find his house. We're flying 200 miles an hour and we're gonna be coming in for a landing. So it might be super hard. It might pass by us really quick. So we gotta keep our eyes open. I'm in the front seat looking out the right, looking for Steven's house. And my mom is in the back seat looking out to the left. And actually we found his house, guys. If you slow down the footage right here and zoom in, that's it. That is Steven's new house. I can't show you any more of it because it's gonna be a huge surprise over on his channel. But it's amazing that we saw it from the sky. Now it's time to come into a landing and give Steven a hug. Woo, and just like that, we are here. We made it to the airport. It's quiet here. I don't see a plane coming in for landing yet, but apparently we can get onto the runway. We just gotta figure out how to. He's close. He's gonna be landing any minute. He is very, very, very close. There's a plane coming in right now. Is that Carter? Is it him? Chris, wave those flags. There we go. He's coming in. He's coming in. Climbing down the airplane. 
literally off the wing, guys. It's so crazy. There's another one about to take off, guys. Flying little airplanes like this is gotta be the coolest way to travel ever. I see Mama Cher. Oh. Hey, Mom. Hi. We made it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, we did. Wow, so that's so cool. Hey, I made it. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like driving a little car. I don't think my luggage is going to fit in this little car. I hope they brought two cars. Uh, Steve, how are we all going to fit in this car? <laughs> little plane, little car. <laughs> <laughs> this is only a two seater. Uh oh. Tops down, we can sit on the back. Okay. We're almost home. Uh, I don't think this car has. Oh, that's a big trunk. It's pretty big. We might have to drive with it up. <laughs> you have all these cars and you brought your smallest trunk space car? We were in a hurry. You said a couple of minutes you were landing. Yeah, this is uh, definitely interesting. But these little airports are amazing, guys. Just look at all these tiny planes. They're all so small. And some are even smaller than the one we flew. This one is like tiny, but it has a few windows that looks so cool. Okay, I just climbed on top of Steven's McLaren. All right, Grace, hop in. You're gonna sit there. <laughs> we are all totally squished in here, guys. Bye, tiny airplanes. It's time. It's time. This is going to be an experience of a lifetime. Not wait. only the travel, but also the destination. We're loading up and taking you guys with us right now. We got all of Team Mar just showing <laughs> us out. Yeah. All right, see you guys. Bye bye. See you guys on the other side. Bye bye. It's going to be a long time until we see those guys again. So we're on to the airport, and it's going to be such an experience because I've never had anything better than first class. I think these seats are literally going to lay down. They could be like butler service. I don't even know. Butler service. Oh but it is going to be over 12 hours in the clouds. And that's only one way. How many meals did they give us if it's a 12 hour flight? Yeah, did we get breakfast, lunch, and dinner? That's some cool. snacks in between. <laughs> running late of course as usual so we got to just grab our stuff jump and run on the flight of a lifetime see you matt <laughs> we missed this flight we are in trouble yo what's up we got fans let's go we are boarding in 41 minutes and we are having troubles step one we got our bags checked i mean yep. probably at the final minute i think if we were like literally 60 seconds later it wouldn't, wouldn't have worked been. Surprisingly, guys, I made it through security a lot faster than Stowe. Stowe's in pre-check, and he's still in. That's crazy. I might miss the flight. Yeah, you might miss the flight. I think we're boarding like any minute now, and definitely not any time for food, which is crazy, because we haven't eaten all day. We're starving. All right, well, I'll see you in a bit. We are boarding in eight minutes. Stowe has not been through security yet. I may make a run for it, actually. Grab some waters and some snacks. Gotta get some of these guys for Stowe. Yeah, we got the snacks. You know, not a whole lot of food, but something if we're about to board. I think it's got to be like literally boarding <laughs> now. Oh, we got three minutes though, actually. Three, three minutes. minutes. Hang on, we might make it. We got the speed <laughs> Hey, slow down, big boy. <laughs> Guys, we made it. C18, first leg to New York City. I think that's us right here. Like, we're the front of the front. Oh, we're in the very We're front. literally the front. Get out. Yeah. Literally. Direct to the front. I mean, there's nothing in front of us. Talk about a first class experience. Oh, yeah, no problem. You're welcome. All right, we got some fans in first class, baby. That's the first time I've had a fan in first class. That's the first time I've ever had a fan. <laughs> Somebody. What the heck? What are you doing? 
you guys doing here? Why is your hair like all short and stuff? You look like a preschool kid on the first day of the class. <laughs> this lounge is actually so nice. I crushed most of my food. We haven't even gotten on the flight, guys, but this is a little taste of what this flight is going to be. Come into a lounge where you get all the free food, as much as you can eat for drinks, all kinds of stuff. I haven't even explored the possibilities. It might be like a free water park in the back. All of Team RAR is about to leave the country right now. We got some crazy tickets. We're going to Qatar for the FIFA World Cup. Each ticket was $23,000. What? $23,000 ticket? What? I'm just finding this out right now, guys. And that times four, that's 100 grand. We are about to board, and this is actually the line, but because our seats are such a high upgrade, we get to cut everybody. It's amazing. We get to go straight to the front and right onto the plane. You have to be go to the counter there. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Just turn off your video. Oh. Okay. All right, that was a little crazy, but we had to like check in, I guess, because it's an international flight or something, but uh, we should be good, and uh, we... Uh, did not cut the line because now it's completely full and we're in the back and now we're last aboard. <laughs> yeah, what the <laughs> We went from being first to last, but hey, it's all good. I'm in no rush. Thank you. Thank you. We're about to see what this airplane looks like. Just very pleased to be D. Great, thank you. Oh my gosh, guys, this is insane. Uh, sparkling water is good. Some ice in this Yes, please. thank you. As soon as I sit down, immediate service. I'm kind of blown away, guys. This is insane. What? There's Stowe. There's Ryan. <laughs> we can do anything we want. Your shoes are off? Yeah. Wait, we can just walk around first class like this? We haven't even taken off yet. We got stove over this way. Yo. And I mean, there's literally two seats, a double TV setup. They give you a blanket and a full set of pajamas. I think there's a shower. Oh my god. The there's not a shower. Oh, wait, we do get we do get shower time. All right, my guy just says that there is hope that the other seat might be a no show, so I might actually move closer to all of Team Rar, so we'll have a quadruple $100,000 ticket. Baby, let's go. The other thing that I've noticed is this plane is like massive. Not only is first class, like the width is crazy, two aisles, but I can't even zoom in and see all the way to the back of this thing, guys. Stove is just doing laps, wandering. In the I'm, first class. You know, I'm making sure I can, you know, know my environment. You gotta know where you're at. Who's in this? I'm hoping I can get into this one. I'm officially getting the, the seat change. Yes. Unbelievable. We're literally having like room service go from like room to room to take an order for like drinks and meals and other special requests and sodas and like snacks. They just went to stove. I ordered probably every like one item per like section. Is it all free? Yeah. So he was like, okay, so we're gonna give you a dinner. I was like, dinner, okay. They're like a light snack. I was like, okay. And a breakfast. This is actually crazy. It's definitely time to get cozy, guys. Shoes off. 12 hours and one minute flight time. Ryan's ordering right now. Uh, the soup sounds great. The main thing is hot. The lobster, yeah. Uh, and the fresh berries sound awesome. Thank you. Wow, guys, I literally just ordered like a four or five plus course meal. I specified what type of water and <laughs> what ice I want in there. Uh, we're about to take off. It's amazing. It's a $25,000 plane ticket. We have four of them. Do the math. That's a hundred grand. It's just kind of unbelievable experience that we're able to do this right now. Even the seatbelt is fancy. You guys, look how thick this thing is. I mean, talk about padding. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the flight, we're like moving right now. Lights have dimmed. The TV is also huge. Can't wait for my multi-course meal to come out. Multi-course meal, literally multi-course. Like, it doesn't make any sense. 12 hours in the air, guys. That is so long. It's happening. In eight time zones. I don't even know what time it's gonna be when we land. It's gonna be a wild, wild experience. I'm just gonna continue to film throughout all of it because I definitely want to document and remember this for the rest of my life and take you guys along the way because this is insane. This is definitely not an experience that someone gets to experience every day or even in a lifetime. Hopefully we sleep well tonight. We're gonna eat well, we're gonna be all cozy in our pajamas and our comforters and stuff. I know, I'm gonna sleep like a pig tonight. <laughs> Sparkling water. It's so one of my favorite like things. It's even better than soda in my opinion because you put a little lemon and lime in there. It tastes great. Zero sugar. Drink it all day. It's healthy. And apparently it's bougie. Like first class $25,000 plane ticket to Qatar. It's bougie. The seats are amazing. I want to go check out the bathroom and see what a first class $25,000 bathroom looks like. Well, I'm going to walk around the plane a little bit and figure out where the bathroom even is. I guess it's through this way. Here is the bathroom. It's pretty wild. We got mirrors everywhere. It's so cool. 
That is awesome. I love the mirrors there. There's mirrors here and there. That's part of what makes it feel so much larger. The regular airplane bathrooms are tight. Like maybe they're as big as like right here, but this is like double and then maybe a little bit more with the vanity. You got a little products here and stuff. This is pretty cool, guys, I gotta say. Alright, bathroom experience was a success. Definitely a new one for me. Let's get out of here. It's now dinner time, guys. We are setting the table. There's even a little candle. This is actually crazy. The food is coming down. It's a multi-course meal. And if you see, it's like a, it's like a full restaurant. We got the napkin that goes down here. There's stove just chowing down. It's time to try the main dish. It looks like this is steak. I don't remember ordering steak. I don't really remember what I ordered, but I'm pretty sure it was cod and lobster. Let's just give it a try. But it's hard to let's get some. We're not on the ground at a restaurant, we're actually flying. Wow, this is delicious. The flavors are amazing. This is definitely a steak. Yeah, it's a good old piece of steak. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try this. Looks great. A little dip. A little hummus with a little bit of oil. Very good. Mm -hmm. It also looks like hummus, but maybe it's a different flavor. Kind of different flavor. I can't even describe it. I'm not very, I'm not like a hummus pro, but I do love it. So good. I got these fruits. Great way to end a meal. Just drizzle this on it, I guess. That's the concept. Dark. We're gonna go on a little bit of a transformative process. Oh man. Also comes with slippers. You get a full set of pants as well. This is what $25,000 gets you. It's a very comfortable baggy t-shirt. You have full pajama pants. Here we go, we're transforming from seat mode to bed mode which is kind of a very important part because being such a long flight, getting cozy, laying down, it's like a dream. So here we go. Oh, we're starting to Oh, wow, you're already moving. Whoa. Oh, you're the getting deep. The is increasing every second. That's literally crazy. I'm completely laid out. Whole another seat of stuff here. I'm gonna put a movie on. This is gonna be the best flight of my entire life. I cannot wait. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. Uh, good morning, guys. It's like, I don't know how many hours. I'm going to type it in. Good morning, Ryan. How do you feel? I feel very rested. I feel like I've been living in luxury. Yeah, it's definitely luxury. Like, you got this for a while. I but kind of don't ever want to get off this plane. I want to live here. I guess this is what we did. We started here in New York and flew all the way over, and we're going to there. The flight was absolutely amazing, but the city is even more crazy. You guys have to see this. About to go outside for the first time and see what the weather is like. It's probably pretty warm, if I had to guess. These are some tall buildings for sure. We made it, Stone. Yeah. Oh, we made it. Here is our hotel room, guys. I have to show you the view because it is absolutely insane. Just Gorgeous. You can see the futuristic buildings. It gets even better as we look out this window over here. Wow, look at that. You can see the ocean. Beautiful sunrise. And just a gorgeous look at the city. Uh, good morning, Team Roar. What you guys eating? Croissants. Is that ice cream for breakfast? It's game day. Oh my god. That's the only way to do it. That's how you gotta do it on the World Cup, baby. Hold up, Stove, you got ice cream too? Ice cream in the coffee. In the coffee? Wow. Okay, it really must be the world bottle. <laughs> <It's all. laughs> and the best part is it's all you can eat and drink. <laughs> yeah, sugar rush. Everyone's literally vlogging, but anyways, guys. Team Rar is finally here in Qatar. We are in. <laughs> we are in. <laughs> <laughs> we almost got 
trying to hit by a car. So this is the city of Doha, guys. Just take a look at the skyline. This literally looks like no city I've ever seen before. It is so futuristic, and I just want to show you a couple things. Look how beautiful the skyline is, guys. It is just crazy. Each and every one of these buildings literally is like futuristic, and they're building the city so fast. There are so many things under construction right now. This is a vending machine? Yeah, you can buy soccer balls. You can get little soccer balls. <laughs> and so cool. it's the shape of a soccer ball. And you're gonna look at the city center mall. I can't wait to see what inside this mall looks like. What? Wow, they really went all out for the World Cup. This is so cool. Yo, Carter, look at this. This is the coolest thing you'll ever see in a mall. What? Look at that. <laughs> no The way. world's biggest inflatable. Guys, comment down below right now if we need to go on that and do last to leave world's biggest <laughs> inflatable Inflata stadium. What? Some says there's something crazy in this mall and it's in front of us and it's called <laughs> Fun City. Yeah. It's the craziest arcade you'll ever see in your life. Oh, the ceiling height is crazy. It's huge and there's a, literally a ship ride. Okay guys, comment down below. We need to build something like this at the Tirar house. This is crazy. What? It keeps on going. It's such a cool ride. Look at oh, oh, I feel like duck almost hit me. They even got a cotton candy like vending machine. VR. Football fun. That trampoline park though. I've got Bailey Payne written all over it. Wow. You've never seen it uh, arcade like this have you no this is pretty cool this is definitely fun city <laughs> we just got to the restaurant for brunch because i have to show you the view here in qatar i mean it is absolutely insane what do you got to say ryan pretty beautiful here in qatar huh this is incredible i feel like i'm on a tropical beach destination that that's what we are that's exactly where we are. Oh, you're right, you're right. <laughs> and lunch is served, Ryan. You ready? Do you eat that? Yeah. Yeah. That's lunch. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, how do you feel about that? How does it make you feel? I'm sure it's super soft and delicious. Ryan's about to try the suction cup. Oh, oh we did it. Oh, that's gross. Is it good? It's really good, and then I keep looking at it. Good or bad? Uh, good, I think. I don't know. Wow, look at those jets flying overhead. This is crazy. We're on our way to the World Cup Finals right now in the stadium. And these airplanes are flying over the stadium right now. The World Cup Finals in that stadium. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> that should be your tagline. Woo! <laughs> Here's Carter with some fans. <laughs> Who are you? Everywhere oh I the God. World Cup is about to happen. Let's go! Uh, are you kidding me right now? And... This is my monster truck, and it is absolutely massive. It can crush things, drive over cars, but it's never been on the road or left the property. So today I'm gonna be driving my monster truck 100 miles across the state of North Carolina to the beach where I'm gonna drive it to the ocean just like Whistle and Diesel. And if you didn't know, monster trucks float on water because their tires are massive. Here is the monster truck. As you guys probably have noticed, I have the tiny little tires on it and not the giant monster truck tires, but it's still a monster truck. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> I think this is too heavy for these tires. It does look like it, but hey, a monster truck's a monster truck, no matter how big your tires are. So we're gonna start our 100 mile journey on the little ones and we're gonna see how it goes. And if we need to upgrade to larger tires, we can always put them on, but uh, let's get started. Mile one? Mile one. Let's go. Got yeah, this is not good. Who, this is a random car, y'all. Yeah. So they might not be approving the monster truck idea. Yeah, That's the one you have to look at today. Yeah. They just send you off, and you got to figure that out. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. So if you ever like see it, just make sure it's locked. Okay. And I just put no access. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, just put no access. Gotcha. Yeah, I appreciate you. Man. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. Off to a bad start. Got a rest. That is definitely an undercover yeah, car. I don't know what you're trying to Wait, is that a Georgia license plate? Yeah. 
Yeah. This ain't even North Carolina. I think he was trying something. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Is every time we try to take something out on the road, we always <laughs> get the cops called. I know. We haven't even started yet. No, we literally haven't even gone half a mile. I think we went 100 inches so 100 far. Inches. <laughs> yeah, I drove this 100 inches. <laughs> time to crank her up and start our journey. Woo! Every large journey starts with the first mile, so we're going to do that with the tiny tires. I will say, I don't have a good feeling about the tiny tires. There's no way they can support the weight of this monster truck. The driveway at the T-Bar house is exactly one mile, so we're going to drive the whole driveway here. If we can complete that, then we're going to be good to put the bigger tires on and hit the main road. This is actually so cool. There's so many good views. Are you kidding me? He actually made it across. How is that possible? So we probably have gone maybe like a quarter of a mile already. I don't understand. I don't get seasick. I don't get car sick. But for some reason, I feel like I am now with Carter's driving. got a flat, you can hear it leaking. You can see we hit really hard and a few spots on the tire. I literally oh. said in the beginning of the video this is gonna happen. Oh, oh my gosh. We got a flat, we only made it one mile. Wait, who's we? You got a flat, I did it, I didn't drive. <laughs> We're gonna have to upgrade from the little tires to bigger ones because we got flats and it's way too bumpy and hard to drive, so. my burst. Let's get to work on upgrading the monster truck to much bigger tires. These are the tires, oh my gosh, they're so heavy. These are the new tires that we're putting on. We've actually never ran these, they're 53 inches. What's the difference between that and the last one, Carter? They're way, way, way bigger. These things are actually so big that you've never seen anything on the road this big because- It's not legal? These are actually DOT approved tires, but you just don't see anyone running because they are monster Well, it looks like your monster truck's about to take off into space at that angle. <laughs> Big truck. A lot of nuts. <laughs> and just like 
like that, the monster truck has official monster truck tires. And the best part about these tires is that they're skinny enough to actually fit in the lane so we can keep on going. We're only at one mile. We have 99 left. Let's go. Are you sure you can go all the way up? Yeah, it's a much taller truck now. Oh, you are way up there, dude. Woo! That's freaking crazy looking. Car is literally sitting above my head height. drive the monster truck 100 miles and now the monster truck is probably broken so we're only two miles in our 100 mile journey but something isn't right something's making like a really weird grinding binding noise i don't know if it's coming from here or from here definitely heard it on this side. but as a, I, I that's why i went so slow so it's i mean it's something internal for sure but guys we've only made it two miles we might have to Put it on pause and do a little bit of maintenance before we can actually road trip this thing. Well, the best thing we could do at this point is uh, just to get the truck back that home. Go 100 miles. Bailey, it's not gonna make it 100. What are you talking We're about? Lucky we can make it one more mile back to the Team Mar house. Lucky? Bro, it's a monster truck. It's a monster. That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah, but it's not bulletproof. You are, though. <laughs> it's just the AC. I think Ryan must have sabotaged. Ryan? <laughs> All right, well, it looks like we are making a run for it right now, getting out of here, y'all. This is just absurd. I have a feeling that we could possibly break down on the way back. It's only a matter of time. We're working our way back out to the road, but I'm a little bit nervous because whatever is happening, I think it's getting worse, and we might break down and get stuck. Oh, there it is. I hear the car. I hear the Yeah, that is not a good noise.
Well, whoo, so glad to be back, y'all. We definitely went like a handful of miles, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't think this thing can make it 100 miles. I could be wrong, but with his driving, I might have to get out of here. Well, at least we made it back to where we started, ground zero. Unfortunately, we only went two, three miles, which means we have 97 miles left. So this video is definitely a fail, but I'm not gonna give up, guys. If you wanna see part two, we gotta modify this truck. We gotta fix it up. We gotta make sure whatever that grind is happening isn't gonna happen and then we can drive this thing 100 miles to the ocean and then drive it with the giant tire so it floats just like Whistle and Diesel. That is my dream. I want to do it for you guys. But it's going to have to be in another video, part two. Woo!